We have been looking at animating objects on the presentation and these are now just a couple of little tweaks that allow us to work with bulleted lists and charts. We'll start with bulleted lists. You see I've got a bulleted list here. I'm just going to select the placeholder and add an effect. I'll just choose a simple fly-in effect. You can see how the bullets come in there. But we can have greater control over the way the object is animated using the Effect Options dialog box. From there you can see we can choose what direction the animation can come from. We can add a sound to the animation. And this is the really interesting bit. After the animation, what do we want to happen to that bulleted item? The moment it's on Don't Dim, what we can do is two things. Firstly, you can hide it after animation, which means it disappears off the screen altogether. Or the favourite is really to, to change the colour, grey it out, so it becomes less apparent on the screen. Let's try that. I'll run the show to show the effect of that. OK, so we click the mouse button to get the first bullet hit item on the list. And we talk about name tags. We deliver our presentation. When we're ready for the next bulleted list, we click again. And name tags grays out or changes colour. And refreshments appears. And then we can talk about refreshments. And then press the button again. And refreshments grays out. You get the idea. Notice that the sub-paragraph is coming in with the main paragraph. So with seating arra arrangements, we're also getting C-class schedule for facility usage. We can sort out those sub-paragraphs. If I come back into the effect options and then choose a text animation tab, it's this item here, group text by. And at the moment it's set on by first level. That means the top level bulleted item comes in with all its sub-paragraphs. We click on the drop-down menu. We've got a few choices. By second level means the first item comes in, the first level paragraph. We click the mouse button, the second level paragraph comes in with all its sub-paragraphs. Third level means the third paragraph is independent. I think you'll get the idea if I show you the second level paragraphs. Click on OK, and I'll just run this show to show the effect. So again, I'm talking away, delivering my presentation, click the mouse button, talk about name tags. When I finish talking about name tags, we move on to refreshments. Notice the sub-paragraph hasn't come in. When I finish talking about refreshments, click the mouse button, the sub-paragraph appears, can be prearranged with TGC staff. So I can do that conversation there. So every time I click the mouse, the next level comes in. We move on to charts now. Again, I've already got a chart in my presentation. If I just select it, I can add an effect. Um, I think I'll choose diamond this time. And you can see how that's going to work. The whole object gets animated in one go. Just have a look at that again. But we can have more control over it. Again, it's using the effect options. Most features are the same here that we've already looked at. Let's look at chart animation now. And you can see that it's grouping in, it's coming in as one object. So we can change that to come in, for example, by series. Click on OK. And I'll just run the slide to show you what that looks like. Waiting for a mouse click. Click the mouse and the chart, the blank chart animates in. Waiting for the mouse click. Click on there. And the first series appears, East. Remember I selected to come in by series. The East series has come in. I talk about it, click the mouse button, and West comes in. Talk about it, click the mouse button. You get the idea. We've got more control though as well if I go back into that. Again, also chart animations. You remember the chart appeared first and it animated in. We can check that animation off. So it doesn't animate the grid and the legend. And this time let's try element in series. Run the show and see what happens. 
So the chat appeared, it didn't animate in, it came in straight away. Waiting for the mouse click, click once, and the first element in the first series comes in. Click again, the second element in the sec in the first series comes in. Click through a few times, and then it starts with the second series. So you get the idea. So I think hours of fun to be had with custom animation of all the objects, the bulleted lists and the charts. You can really spend a lot of time. You really do need to go through all these options, playing around with them, seeing how they work every time you create a presentation. Enjoy.